If you enjoy this video please like and subscribe. Dateline November 1982, bright, bubbly, attractive, caring that's how the public perceives Ruta Lee from her many appearances on game shows, films and musical theater. But there's a private Ruta Lee, a Ruta that her husband Webster Lowe and her neighbors in the Las Palmas district of Palm Springs are more familiar with. That Ruta is bright, bubbly, attractive, caring it's hard to separate the real Ruta from the Ruta you see on Hollywood squares or stump the stars. She seems perpetually on. It would probably require the detective skills of a Bill Cullen to get the real Ruta Lee to please stand up. I got someone resembling Barbara Billingsley of Leave It to Beaver when I came to her door. It was only 9 a.m., but she had on a long, sheer dress with gold earrings and a necklace. Her blonde hair was perfectly in place and her toenails and fingernails were painted to match her dress. A copy of a review of her last performance of Annie Get Your Gun was conveniently placed on one side of my chair and an issue of the College of the Desert newspaper, The Chaparral, placed in front of me, served as a further reminder that her next performance of Annie Get Your Gun would be with a COD cast at the Palm Springs High School Auditorium December 3rd, 4 and 5. Ruta's putting all her energy into Annie Get Your Gun for the COD Performing Arts Series. She believes in the Friends of the Cultural Center's goal of building a theater on the COD campus and she enjoys working with young music and drama students. She said she agreed to perform in Annie Get Your Gun when her friend Roy Rogeson asked her if she would do a show for the Performing Arts Series. Ruta had performed South Pacific with Stanford students in the early 70s and she did a little night music at San Diego State last year so she knew what it would require. One said, gee, working out in the desert would really be fun, she said with characteristic verve. But she also looks at the no salary assignment as a good deed she must do. I want to spend more time in the desert, she said. Our eventual goal is to live between Palm Springs and Idlewild. If I'm going to do that, obviously I'm going to have to ally myself with something down here because I'm a very active person, a real do-gooder. In Los Angeles, where she has a 26-room mansion once owned by Rita Hayworth and Orson Welles, Ruta divides her time between acting and raising money for charities. She's done most of her work for the Thalians, an organization which provides hospital and counseling services for mentally disturbed persons. She served as its chairwoman of the board for five years and she was previously elected to seven terms as president. She is also a member of the Los Angeles Environmental Quality Board and the Economic Development Board of Los Angeles. She was a national spokesman for the American Cancer Society and she was honored as Woman of the Year by B'nai B'rith. There's something in my nature that says I have to give, she said. That, working with COD, is a way to give in an area I like working in. It's paying your dues. You don't get anywhere unless you pay your dues and I'm looking to get into the next heavenly rewards by paying my dues now. But Ruta's motives aren't all altruistic. She gets rewards every time a student she's working with gets an ovation. Working with kids and seeing them do something right. Said Ruta, and getting the audience reaction, is almost the same as getting that yourself. I imagine it's the kind of experience a director would get. That's another area I would like to get into. I would like to direct musicals and comedies. Ruta has been doing a lot of musical comedy, recently. In addition to Annie Get Your Gun and A Little Night Music, she's performed Gypsy, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, and The Unsinkable Molly Brown at spots around the country. But it was the television game shows that made Ruta a star. She was co-hostess of NBC's High Rollers and she appeared frequently on Hollywood Squares, PDQ, Password, You Don't Say and most of the others. She said those appearances gave her high face recognition when she went on the road with her musicals. I made a lot of friends, through the game shows, she said. When I'm on the road, it's not, hello Miss Lee, it's, hi Ruta. So I owe the talks and game shows an awful lot. But at the same time, she said her reputation as a game show contestant is hurting her chances for getting good dramatic roles on television or film. Television producers don't recall that she starred with Fred Astaire and Audrey Hepburn in Funny Face. With Tyrone Power in Witness for the Prosecution or with Frank Sinatra in Sargent's Three, she said. And they apparently don't remember her many guest appearances on TV shows like Perry Mason, The Fugitive, The Lucy Show and Marcus Welby, M.D.
It's a vicious cycle, she said. All through the years, I was an up-and-comer on television. I made 3,000 appearances on television. But I was always a lover of games and I had a very difficult time getting on the game shows. Then I eventually worked my way up to the talk shows and the game shows, and now the nighttime shows are saying, she's a daytime actress and it's hard to get a job on nighttime shows. But her favorite type of acting is still musical comedy. That's what I know best, she said. I'm an instinctively good actress, but I look to a director a lot for help when it comes to serious drama. When it comes to musicals and comedy, I truly trust my own instincts. In Annie Get Your Gun, Ruto will work for director Wendy Wilson and producer Sidney Harmon.